Hi, my dear brothers and sisters. This is Bobby Kitain, and welcome to Pathways of Hope. Happy Feast of Pentecost to you. Jesus made a promise to his disciples in today's gospel. In John 14, verses 16 to 17, Jesus said, And I will ask the Father, and he will give you another advocate to help you and be with you forever, the Spirit of Truth. And of course, this promise was fulfilled on Pentecost Day. Jesus sent his Holy Spirit to his disciples. And just to put proper context into this Feast of Pentecost, we have to remember that the disciples received the power of the Holy Spirit in the upper room. Now, the upper room is the place where they hid after seeing their master arrested, tortured, and crucified. The disciples were so afraid that they decided to go into the upper room and to hide from the Roman authorities. They were so afraid. They were also grieving because they just lost their best friend, their master. And they were also confused. What now? Where do we go from here? They don't know their next steps. After spending three years of their life being with Jesus, now suddenly they don't know where to go. Now, my friend, I don't know what your upper room is. It might be an upper room of grief. Maybe you've lost someone you love. Maybe you've experienced a, a terrible heartache or a business loss. Whatever it is, you are going through some kind of grief. You are in an upper room of grief. Or maybe you're in an upper room of fear. Maybe you're afraid for our economy. Maybe you're afraid for your health. Maybe you're afraid for your family. Whatever it may be, you are in an upper room of fear. Or maybe you are, you are in an upper room of confusion. You're in the midst of making an important decision in your life and you don't know which, which way to go. Whatever your upper room may be, my friend, I believe Jesus has the same promise to you as he had with his apostles. He will give you the Holy Spirit. He will send you the Holy Spirit to strengthen you. Now, I know for many of us who are Catholics, we know we've already received the Holy Spirit during our sacramental baptism. But the Lord continues to reignite the power that is already in us. Every time we need the power of the Holy Spirit to overcome our own upper rooms. And so today I invite you to really receive once again the power of the Holy Spirit. How? How do we do that? A, B, C. A, ask. Scripture says, ask and you shall receive Seek and you shall find, knock and it shall be opened unto you. Scripture further says, if you who are evil know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more the Heavenly Father will give all good gifts to you? Ask. Ask for the power of the Holy Spirit because it is a good gift. It is, in fact, the best gift the Lord has given all of us. Be, believe. It's not enough that we ask. We have to believe that the Holy Spirit can truly make a difference in our lives. We have to believe that the Holy Spirit can allow us to overcome our own upper rooms. And C, cooperate. Scripture says, work out your salvation with fear and trembling. Not work for, but work out. Meaning to say, work it out with the Holy Spirit. Cooperate with the work of the Holy Spirit. Cooperate with His grace. And allow the Holy Spirit to give you that ability to do more than what you're capable of, to overcome your own upper rooms. And so my friend, A, B, C, ask, believe, cooperate. And my dear friend, my prayer for you today is that you receive once again the power, the power that would allow you to overcome your own upper room. Happy Feast of Pentecost. God bless you.